kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim welcome to my another video on android app development and so guys this will be the part 5 and the last part of my video series on native facebook ad using recycler view in android studio okay so in this video i will try to complete it complete the app so let's get started so as you know that we had completed the main activity work and also we had completed the layout for this uh, native add unit.xml okay we so now the only work which is remaining is inside this my adapter okay so we have to write the code for the uh, on create view holder as well as for the own bind view holder and yes all right so let's get started so as you can see we have this uh, we already had initialized the default constructor the uh, i mean and then we had put up all the values here then now what we need to do is first of all we need to right i think we have also written this code okay so now we will uh, we will continue and start our coding from this own create view holder so in this uh, in this method uh, we will have as you know that we will have two types of uh, views so first of all the first view will be of the facebook ads and the second one will be our our own uh, you can say our own data uh, items okay so now what we are going to do here first of all we have to check if and here we have to check if you type and if it is equal to add type all right if it is equal to add type then what we have to do is we can say native add layout and we can make an object and then we can uh, typecast it so for this we can say native add layout and here we can say layout inflator dot from and from there we can say uh, parent dot get context and then we can finally say dot inflate and which layout we want to inflate so it will be native add unit all right then we have to pass on the parent as the view group and the final one will be false because we don't want to attach it to the root then here we can say return new unified fb holder and here we have to pass on our native ad layout okay so you know which where is this unified fb uh, loader so you know we already have this here all right so now here uh, if then we can check if else if and if it is equal to i equal to or uh, there is no i so we have the view type and if it is equal to the post type and then what we uh, we can do here is we can have our own view that we can inflate so we can write view view equal to and here we can say layout inflator dot from and from there we can say parent dot get context and then we can say dot inflate and we can say r dot layout dot my uh, on data item and then we can say we can pass on the parent as the view uh, view group and we can fall we can say false all right so now we have this view uh, view here and then we can simply say return new and here we have this my own view holders so we can return this and inside this we can pass our view and then we can say else and we can say just return null or you can say uh, we don't need to write this all right and it's saying an error because we have to okay all right so now we have this uh, on create view holder we have completed we had this if the this both if so if our view type is add type then we have to inflate our add then if our view type is uh, the post one so here you can see post type then we have to in, in inflate our own layout all right and then we have to write code for the on bind view holder so first of all 
here we have to say int view type so first of all we have to get the type so for this we can say get item view type and here we can pass on our position so now we can use the switch case so here we have to use switch then we can say we have a case and that case will be add type and we have to use break then we have to use case let me see post type and we have to use break and by default I think we don't need this default here so I will check if we can have it so here inside our add type so first of all we have to use the native add and we have to create the object so here first of all we have some checks so for these checks we can first of all check if uh, m atom add items and dot size and if it is greater than position and then, then we divide by add display frequency because we want to have this layout after every four items okay so every f after every four are on data items then we can uh, display a single add so for this we can say add equal to m add items dot cat and here we can pass on our position then we can say divide and we have add frequency display frequency and then here inside our else part we can say add equal to native add manager and we can say dot next native add all right and now we can check if and i think we have to check it after this else or i think we can check it right here but i think that's good if add is not equal to null which I hope that it's not equal to null at any point then we can say again if add dot is add invalidated then if add is not invalidated then we have to add it to our m add items so we can say m add items dot add and here we have to pass on add so I think we can have this if inside our else part and yes alright so now we will have uh, like after this we have one two three okay so after we uh, we come outside of this else so now we can set the data so for this we can first of all say unified FB holder and we can name it as add holder and we can say equal to and here we have unified FB holder and we have view holder so for the view holder we already have this holder all right then we can say add holder dot add choices container and we have to remove all views okay then now we can check if add is not equal to null it means we have the add object and here we can simply say you know we can say add holder dot tv add title and we can say dot set text and here we can write add dot get advertiser name then we can say add holder dot tv add body and we can say dot set text and it will be equal to add dot get body text then we will have add holder dot tv add social context dot set text and it will be equal to add dot get add social context then we will have add holder dot tv add sponsored label dot set text and here we will have sponsored then we will have add holder dot 
button add to, add to action and we can say dot set text and here we can pass on add dot get add call to action all right then we can say add holder dot button add button call to action and we have to set the visibility and there we have to check if uh, add dot has call to action if it is if we, if it has the call to action then we can say view dot visible or we can say view dot invisible all right then we have the add options so we can say add options view we have add options view and it will be new add options view and then we can have context then we will have the add then we will have add holder and then we will have native add manager all right but it is showing me error so let's see what is the error of there add options view we have the context then we have the add then we have the add holder okay so here we have to use add holder dot native add layout okay so then here after we initialize it then we can say add holder dot add choices container and we can say dot add view and inside this we can pass on our add options view and for the index we have to pass on zero all right so i hope that you understand and you are following me and if you don't if you have any issue so you can ask me and okay so now here we have to check if add is not equal to null mm, we have done it okay so after we have added the view so now we have to use a list and here we will have the of type view then we can say clickable views and it, it, it will be new array list we have to create and then we can say click view able views dot add and here we can add our add holder dot iv add icon then we can say click able views dot add and what we have to add is we have to add our add holder dot mv add media then we can say clickable views dot add and here we have to add add holder dot button add add call to action and then we can say add dot register view for interaction and then we can pass on add holder dot native add layout then we will have add holder dot mv add media and then we can have add holder dot iv add icon and we have the clickable views here alright so now we uh, have completed the code for our case uh, add type so now we have to go to our uh, case post type so for the post type what we are going to do is we have to use our own layout so for this we can say my own view holder and we can say my view or you my own view holder and it will be my own view holder and we have the holder here okay so we have typecasted it and now we can simply say like so here we can say my own view holder dot text view dot set text and what will be the text so for the text we have to check which uh, the name of our array list so there we have this array list and then we can simply say array list dot get 
position and that's all all right so i think that uh, uh, we have completed it so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye